Hello everyone, Amp here bringing you another RenPy tutorial. This is part two of the image gallery tutorial. The first thing I'd like to point out is something that PyTom, the creator of RenPy mentioned, is that this image size function right here is really slow. You may have noticed that it took a while for my, um, for my game to load when I did the demo at the very end of the last tutorial. And that's because it takes so long. So this is really only being used right now because I have images of different sizes and proportions to each other. And I don't know the exact proportion of what the scale should be. In reality, you would want the thumbnails or whatever to be like the image and then you would do a size and whatever the size is supposed to be. Uh, that's a lot faster. But for right now, I'm going to keep using this because I don't have images that are all the same size like you would for a real game. And so we're going to keep going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create two new variables. Gallery page. I'm going to set it equal to zero. And close up page. And I'm going to set that equal to zero. We'll use close up page later, but we're going to use gallery page right now. So I'm going to create over here a start equals gallery page times max per page. So that's our starting point. So we're going to start with image zero and then four and then whatever, depending on how big the, how many we want per page. For this one, if you remember, max per page is four. So it's going to start at zero, and then when max per, when gallery page is one, we're going to get images four through seven. So we want to start with that four, and then eight, and so forth. And then we're going to say end equals. Uh, we actually need to do one more thing first: is to actually make our gallery. So I'm going to create a variable called gallery items. And I'm going to eat, set it equal to an empty array first. And then I'm going to say gallery items dot append a new gallery item. Let's call it image one. Give it image one and image one B for my images. There they are. And append. Oh, and I need to give it a thumbnail too. And that'll be thumb one. And I don't need to give it a locked one. That's only if I want a special locked picture for just that one, which I don't for any of these. So uh, I'm going to just stick with the default. So item one or image one is going to be the only one with more than one image because I'm lazy and I just want to show the principle of it working. I'm just going to go up to eight for now. But you would want to fill it with whatever, however many things you want.
Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to say that in my gallery, I'm going to say the end is either start is going to be the minimum of something. Minimum of start plus max per page minus one. So in the case of zero and this is being four, it'll be three, which is zero through three. That's four images. And the length of gallery items minus one. So this is just a guard to say um, if the if we have not a full page, we don't want to go over that. So I'm going to create a grid max num x max num y. I'm going to say x fill true, y fill true. And I'm going to say for i in range start n plus 1. And this is because in Python the range is not inclusive. So I need to s bump it up by 1. So I, this will be in the first one, it will be 0 to 4. And so that'll end up being 0, 1, 2, 3. That'll be 4 total. And let's say, well, first thing we'll do is gallery items sub i dot refresh lock because we don't know. This is maybe the first time we've seen this gallery page before since unlocking a new thing. So then we're going to say if gallery item sub i dot is locked we're going to add gallery items sub i dot locked and we want it to be x align 0 0.5 y align 0 0.5 else we're going to, for now, we're not going to make it an image button. We're going to just add the picture. Gallery items i dot thumb. X align 0 0.5, Y align 0 0.5. So then that's it for the actual images themselves. What if we have a partial page? So we're going to say for i in range, we ended with n plus 1. So n plus 1. And then it's going to be max per page. So if n plus 1 is 4 in this case, Um, not max per page. M plus one start plus max per page. So this is going to be adding just nulls to fill out the grid if we need to. Let's see what happens. Oh, looks like I forgot to do that, that dollar sign, because I thought I was still in Python. But otherwise, it looks like it's doing OK. If I go to the gallery, I get four locked pictures because I haven't un seen any of these images before. And I can return. So the next thing we need to do is create next and previous buttons. So this is going to be a 
That's the grid for images. This is the return button. And up here, it's going to be previous next buttons. So we're going to say if gallery page is greater than zero, so if we have a previous page, then we're going to say text button previous action set variable gallery oops gallery page to be gallery page minus 1 x align 0 0.1 let's say so it's on the left y align 0 0.98 so it's in line with the return button so that's our previous button the next button is a little bit trickier so we're going to say if gallery page plus one times max per page. So this is saying this is how many images we have shown. To, or this is our ending image. So our ending image is saying that um, our ending image is, for example, in page one, it's going to be one times max per page. That's going to be four. So it's actually going to be it should actually be three, but what we want to do is we want to check if it's less than the length of gallery items. So if the length of gallery items is four and the max per page, and this happens to be four, then we don't want to have a next page because that would be empty. So this is the formula for it. Next action set variable gallery page to gallery page plus one x align 0 0.9 so it's on the right y align 0 0.98 so it's in line with everything else so let's take a look at that now gallery. I have a next button. I don't have a next button here. I can return to the previous one. None of them are unlocked so they don't it looks kind of boring now but we're gonna add some more later on the next tutorial. I hope I'll see you guys then.